Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. The series for this month, perhaps my favorite so far, is called The Love Connection. This is the second of four small channelings regarding love. Dear ones, I could tell you so many things about that which you call love, and none of them would carry the impact, the strength, the enormity, the splendor of truly what it means. Let me give you a hint. I may have said these things before, but they cannot be said too many times. In fact, this entire month, we might say, we are then reinforcing, revisiting, if you will, so many things that we want you to know and understand, especially with that which is happening in the world right now. The hint that I wanted to give you is that if you looked at all of the things that might pass between the other side of the veil and the one you're on when you're born, and there are many, We've told you about some of them, joy, laughter. But the biggest one is love. You can have wonderful compassion. You can have kindness and a, and a joyful attitude, but the greater of all of these things, and the greatest, is love. We speak of a different kind of love, perhaps, than some of you are thinking about. Love for the human being it's wonderful. And you express it perhaps for one another and mean it. You express it for the animals perhaps that are with you. You love them and you mean it. You express it perhaps even to the planet. But the one that has no greater size or influence is the love of God. And the one that we have told you about even that is completely and totally misunderstood is the love of self. But the one I want to talk about is the one that is ingrained in you from birth. Do you remember? We have said over and over, made in his image is something you have read in Scripture. And not just in the scripture, perhaps, that you're aware of, but in so many words, it's in many scriptures, made in his image. This is a very poor set of words to talk about that which you were made in. It's the image of the creative source. It doesn't even have a gender. It is the biggest thing that ever exists. The image that you're made in is love. That means as you sit there, as you listen, as you watch, perhaps, love is in there at its greatest source, its greatest energy. And there are some who say, well, I'm, not, I'm not feeling that. There are many who are born, and as we have said even on this program, we have, you've had love talked out of you because no one showed it to you. Not like the love of God, not in an unconditional way. So many parents, this is what they wish to give their children, but they end up with these blind spots, <laughs> giving them something else can, that, it, that is close to it, but, but not the love of God. This encompasses you. It puts you into... It puts you into, dear ones a presence that you can feel and know that takes all fear away. If you are there in that space, the space which we are wishing so much to create in the circle of 12, nothing matters at that moment. Nothing. This is the love that we love you to rekindle, revisit. And you again will say, how do we do that? Let me, let me start by telling you this. There are many things that will cover it up completely. Completely. Fear is one of them. Are you fearful right now for, for anything? And the answer is normally with humans, yes. 
You're fearful or you're concerned. Perhaps it's borderline fear, but you're still concerned. You're concerned with each other, perhaps with your lives or those of your children, those of your parents, those of your mates, those perhaps in the rest of the world who are going through so much that is affecting their lives. And that is concerning to you. Well, that's a form of fear. You'll say, wait a minute, there's a difference between being very concerned and being fearful. Not to your body, dear ones. The same chemistry is involved. And that chemistry will negate love. What about those who say, well, I am concerned enough to love those around me. I'm concerned enough to, uh, this is all semantics. Will you get out of the, the three-dimensional arguments of the, of the esoterics that some people want to pick apart with words and instead get to the basic energy of an unconditional love for all? And it doesn't matter what condition they're in or how concerned you're in. You can drop into your heart and take away all that fear for just a moment or two. You do that often, that's an exercise, and you can do it all the time. So you don't have to pinpoint something that's wrong on the planet and then pray for it. You don't have to be concerned or fearful for someone else and then pray for it. Instead, you are that which can, that, that creates love, and that then is sent as love and compassion and kindness to anyone who needs it. That is the power you have. The intellectual esoterics will say, no, I had to identify them and put them in a list. No, you don't. That love that passes to you as the creator, not only is it in tracing, it, it is in you all the time, but it's you who covers it up. And you may not even know that you cover it up. Why not have your next prayer right now? Dear Spirit, help me see the things that are covering up the image of love from the creator that I am, that is every single cell of my body. Help me to understand as I drop into my heart and, and send love to humanity or anyone else that it does, doesn't have to be with concern or fear, that it's generic, so beautiful and strong is it that it's going to go exactly to who needs it. Therefore, if I put myself in that place and generate that, that beautiful, beautiful emotion. It's more than an emotion. It's an energy that goes everywhere. If you only knew what one person in coherence with the field and with others could do for the whole, you get two or more doing it, and it's awesome, unbelievable. This is the energy. You call it, if you wish to, a force that you push upon that which is darkness. And when you do that, all manner of things happen. Getting out of that intellectual idea that you have to have a prayer list. I tell you, I've asked my partner and his partner, Monica, to put together miracle moments. And you might see that or think that we're asking you to, to single out the people and their issues and pray for them. Let me tell you something. That is the 3D example. That is the paradigm that is set up so that everyone will understand. But now I'll give you the truth about it, the secret, if you wish, about it. And that is this. When you drop into your heart, whether you know their names or not, or you know anything about the list or not, all of them are represented. There will be those who put their names on the list, and a few months from now that list will grow so long, or it may have been resolved, or, or it may have been refined, or, or some of it may have disappeared for length reason. It doesn't matter. The entire list and everyone who's ever been on it is included in that multidimensional experience called love and that love pushes to all of you and in that there is solace there is healing there is beauty there is aha moments i'll tell you you're dealing with something that is bigger than anything that is l-o-v-e 
It is that which is from the creator. Something that you cannot spell or describe or define. Bigger than anything that exists in this, that is the universe of your mind, even of your soul. That is the essence of the creative source that made this planet, that made you, that made this universe. And that was always the intent that eventually you will peel away all of that which is the onion of humanity, of fear, of concern, and turn right to that which is the most dramatic solution, love. There's nothing like it. I invite all of you to drop into your heart and think of nothing but the beauty and the warmth, the solace, the healing, the energy, the perfection of love. It's all there. I would love to give multi-channelings just on that, just to have you sit and feel it and be with me. Beautiful it is, dear ones. I'm going to give it to you often. This information is too good not for you to revisit. In other words, visit it now. I am crying in love with all of you. In love with all of you. And so it is.